Nonetheless, South Korea remains optimistic, waiting a little longer, anticipating Pyongyang will grab onto the extended olive branch soon. But will the patience be rewarded truly? Kwon Jang-ho breaks down what North Korea could possibly be waiting for and gauge the likelihood of a positive response. A wall of silence by the North Koreans in response to South Korea's offer for talks. Since the proposals were made on Monday, Seoul has had to patiently play the waiting game with no way of telling how or when Pyongyang would respond. The initial deadline for response has passed, but Seoul has said they will stay the course for now. We will not be affected by North Korea's current actions. We believe they need to steadily take one step at a time. We trust that they will respond soon. At the moment, we do not have plans to make additional offers. What could North Korea be waiting for? A likely scenario seems to be that the regime is attempting a power play to save face in its dealings with Seoul. If North Korea were to respond to South Korea's offer right away, it would seem like they are being led too much by the South's pace. They are saying they will take the lead. That is the underlying message. Experts also say ending border hostilities, namely the loudspeakers that blare propaganda across each other's borders, is something Pyongyang is in favor of too, and that they are likely to agree to talks eventually. There's no need for us to rush. Just because there was no reply today doesn't mean we need to start making new offers. We need to be careful and wait a little bit longer. The next deadline for the military talks is set for next Thursday, the anniversary of the Korean War Armistice Agreement and the original date proposed for talks by President Moon Jae-in during his Berlin address earlier this month. There's more time for the Red Cross talks for separated family reunions, with a response deadline set for August 1st. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.